Hi, welcome to Digital Principles and System Design. In this video lecture, let's discuss about the simplification of Boolean expression in a systematic way using Carnot maps. Given a Boolean expression, we can use Boolean algebra to reduce the complex expression to a simpler expression. But the problem is when we use Boolean algebra directly, the order in which we apply the Boolean laws to reduce the expression might be different depending on the individuals. And we cannot ensure that everybody has landed up with the minimum number of literals or the expression that would need minimum number of digital components to build the circuit. But when we use the Carnot map, although the final expression might differ from the individuals, the number of digital components required to implement the circuit will be the same across all individuals since it is very systematic. We are given a Boolean expression which is uh, complicated when we implement the expression as such with many digital logical circuits that is we need more gates to implement the uh, boolean expression when we use the carnot map or the k map for simplification we end up with a simpler design with less digital logic circuits that is we use very less gates necessary the minimum number of gates necessary to implement or realize the boolean expression actually and this method that is using the Carnot map is simpler as well as it is standardized. Thus we can ensure when we use Carnot map for simplification, the final answer that we get, the simplified Boolean expression that we get after apply, applying the Carnot map for simplification across individuals will result in an expression which will require the same number of hardware components to realize the circuit. What is the Carnot map? Carnot map is a two-dimensional pictorial form or we can say it is the graphical way of simplifying the uh, Boolean expression which will actually plot or depict the truth table and we know that truth table is the relationship between the input and the output. So basically we are rewriting the truth table in a different notation using the Carnot map. And we can use Carnot map and simplify in two different ways. Either we can simplify and get the result in terms of sum of products or the product of sum. In this video lecture, we will discuss only about the sum of products. Carnot map represents all possible combination of input variables in terms of min terms. So actually, the size of the Carnot map will vary depending on the number of input variables. So if the number of variables is 2, then we get all possible combination of inputs to be 4. So the size of the Carnot map will be 4 and if there are 3 input variables then we can have 8 combinations of inputs. So the Carnot map size will be 8 and so on. And each it is a Carnot map is a table and each of the cell in the table is represented either by 1 or 0. And we mark the cell with 1 when the min term corresponding to that boolean variable or boolean expression evaluates to 1. And if that min term does not correspond to the boolean expression then we mark that cell with 0. And we perform simplification by grouping all the cells that contain 1. And when we group the number of cells, these are the rules that we have to take into account. The number of cells that we group should count to a power of 2. It can be 2 power 0 which is equal to 1. That is we can group only one cell or we can choose to group 2 power 1 equal to 2 cells together or 2 power 3 
as 2 power 2 say 4 cells together, 8 cells together, 16 cells together and so on. And when we group in such a way, we have to make sure that the group is as large as possible. Only when the, num the number of cells in the group is more, then we can get an expression which is very less in number of literals in it. We get a product term and we use to uh, when we use sum of products to uh, simplify the boolean expression each group will result in a sum of uh, a product term and then finally we group we form the sum of products by integrating all different groups in a boolean expression so each group will result in a product term when the size of the group is large then the number of literals in a product term will be less so always we have to look for a group which is as large as possible and we have to finally ensure that all the ones are at least covered in a group now let's see how we can use the Carnot map to solve a two input variable boolean expression or to simplify any boolean expression that has only two different variables involved in it. When we have two input variable variables, we can have four different possible min terms and the size of the Carnot map then will be four squares together. And this is the Carnot map for two variable um, Boolean expression. So uh, we are assuming the variables to be x and y and the values of x can vary as 0 and 1. Similarly, y can take the value 0 or 1. And when x is 0, y is 0, we get the min term m0. Similarly, when x is 0 and y is 1, we get the min term m1. And when x is 1 and y is 0, uh, we get the min term m2. And finally, when x is 1 and y is 1, we get the min term m3. Now, if you consider these two cells together, that is m0 and m1 together, the value of y is varying. This is 0 and this is 1. So, and what is constant here? Only the x variable with the value of 0. So, this value of 0 in min term will represent x dash or the complement of x. So, when we have ones along these row, then we can group them together and this area together will represent only x complement. And y value or the y variable will get eliminated when we have ones in these two cells. Similarly, when we have ones in these two cells, then Again, y is varying, x is constant and its value is 1 and in min term 1 will correspond to x. Similarly, if we have 1s along the column, then this cells can be grouped together because 2 cells we can group together because it is the a power of 2, 2 power 1 is equal to 2. So, this is represented by y complement. Similarly, when you have ones in this column, then these two cells can be grouped together and we can label it as y. Let's now consider a sample which is x bar y plus x y bar plus x y. This is the given boolean expression which we wanted to simplify. Now let's use the Carnot map. We have two variables in the function x and y. So, we have two variable Carnot map and x bar y is this is x bar and y is this one right. So, x bar y is this column or this cell and 
x y bar is x is this row y bar will be this one so x y bar will be this one and x y is this uh, this one now when we wanted to group i can group these two cells together and form a group and i can form a group by clubbing these two ones together when we group these two ones together what is the product term that we will get y is varying across these two cells so we will not consider y and only x is constant so we will use x and x is getting the value 1 in this row so these two ones when we combine the product term that we will get is only x that is what is shown in this figure similarly we can group these two ones together and when we group these two ones together note that this one is reused is this fine reusing this one in both the uh, product term it is okay because we know that x plus x is equal to x so i can duplicate this x y once again to simplify this expression and the final answer of this function or uh, whenever this function evaluates to 1 will not change when we add x y again because x plus x is equal to x so when we group these two ones together x is varying y remains constant and the value of y is 1 along this column so the product term corresponding to this block will be y now the question may be why should we consider only the term that remains constant and why why can we ignore the variable which is varying when we varying when we group the cells when we group these two cells together what do we do we consider these two terms and we take the common x outside and what we get we get x into we get y plus y bar right y bar plus y that is what we have when we consider these two terms in the boolean expression and we know that y bar plus y will be 1 and x into 1 will be again x right so we have x into 1 x into 1 or the uh, and function between x and 1 and this will result in x that we know right so we exploit this rule we apply this x plus y plus y bar equal to 1 and then we use x um, and 1 is equal to x we use these two rules and that is why we are able to group these two ones together and write it as x Similarly, when you consider this group, we consider this term along with x, y again. We take the uh, y which is common and we get x bar plus x which is 1 and we uh, get y as the result. Now, the simplified expression will be we are looking at sum of products, right? This is one product, this is another product and the sum of products will be x plus y and that is the simplified boolean function we get by applying the carnot map for simplification you might be wondering whether this expression is really equal to this one let's try and give an input say x is 1 and y is 0 and evaluate what is the value of this boolean expression since x is 1, x bar will be 0 and and with a 0 will be 0. So, this term will be 0 and y bar will be 1 because y is 0. x is 1. So, this term will be 1 and we are not bothered about this one because we have r between all these things. So, any if any one of the term is 1, we get a 1 as the answer. So, for this input 1 0 this boolean expression will result in an answer which is 1 now apply the same value here 1 0 
for this simplified boolean expression and we find that x is 1 and y is 0 and the result of this expression is 1 and you can apply all possible four combinations of values and verify that whatever answer we get here that is what we get here as well and we can be sure that this simplified boolean expression is equivalent to this boolean expression this is one more example on a two variable Carnot map and this is the truth table uh, for this f and we know that this uh, boolean function f is the xr function and now let's see how to mark this one this 0 0 is 0 so we have a 0 here and 0 1 is 0 1 is 1 and 1 0 1 0 is 1 again 1 1 is 0 and here how can we form a block when we form a block or a group we can group only the adjacent cells adjacent means the cells nearby can vary only by one bit if you take this cell the min term corresponding to that is 0 0 and its value is 0 min term corresponding to this is m0 and its value is 0 0 and if you take this one its value is 0 1 and if you compare these two uh, expression values it differs only by this bit so the number of bit changes for the adjacent scan cells can be at most one those are called the adjacent cells so i can group this way or i can group this way i cannot group like this in a cross or in a diagonal fashion because this cell is 1 0 and this cell is 0 1 and there is two bit changes which is not allowed so we can group individual cells alone which is 2 power 0 which is equal to 1 so i can form a group like this and a group like this and we get the same expression as the result that is this expression cannot be simplified further.